just to rewind back a little bit, I think that like like a lot of Asian Americans, especially those of us who grow up um, as sort of one of the few Asians in their town, we kind of have like this common identity, you know, arc where we try to disappear and assimilate as much as possible. And then in college, we sort of rediscover that cultural heritage. I think some of us have the privilege of like going back to our home country and then finding a balance in that. And that's exactly what happened with me. And uh, when I went to NYU, I discovered sort of like Asian American studies and the history of Asian American thought a lot more about my sort of consciousness as a person of color. And then when I got into film school, I tried to bring that, but I found myself sort of clashing with a lot of my classmates at the time, which were predominantly white male from like the Midwest. And I didn't really feel like my voice fit in. And, you know, the trip was just to visit my family which basically is all still in China. But when I was in Shanghai, I really sort of felt, the way I can describe it is like a a weight off my shoulders. And, you know, I've talked a lot about it since then. I've thought a lot about it. And I think it was kind of, in a way, I felt less expectations of who I was supposed to be. And I could kind of disappear and be treated for just who I was. 